Hi guys, welcome to the video. In this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to make your way through the new exotic quest that dropped on Tuesday. It sees us re-enter the corridors of time where we came in before, we've came in twice before to help and then ultimately rescue Saint-14. But this time, there's a completely different agenda. So to start this quest off, you actually need to go to Osiris. Now there'll be no prompt, but if you go to him, he he's going to give you a quest anyway. And the quest sees us go back into, into the same area we went in to rescue St. 14. This time, however, they're, they're, all the doors are open. So it's a maze that you will use a kind of 19 different codes to access 19 different pieces of lore. Now, there is a 20th code, which is also in the video, but we'll speak about these all these codes at the exact same time. So once you enter the area, it's exactly the same start off kind of area that we have when we went in for Saint-14. This pillar at the front left is very important because upon com successfully completing uh, one of the codes, you can, you can be teleported straight back here. You can reset your progress at that pillar. Just go up to it and you'll be given a prompt after a second or two to reset your progress. And then you can do the next line of code. So when we get to this first area, I'm going to clear all the ads out and then I can show you the kind of codes that we're talking about. So each of these doorways has a pillar in front of it with a symbol. There are five relevant symbols, uh, which I will show you exactly what they are so you can navigate the codes better. So when you get so when you get to this area, every area is going to have these codes. So this is plus, that is diamond, this one is snake, this one is clover, and the last one is hex, which actually stands for hexagons. So basically the codes are strings of those symbols. And for each room, to follow the code, you just follow the next symbol. So you go in the next doorway of the chain of code. So if it's hex, snake, plus, the first room you'll go through hex, the second room you'll go through snake, and then the third room you'll go through, you, you get the gist. When you successfully complete a line of code, you will come to this area and you'll be prompted to collect your relevant reward. Now on screen now, I'm going to put the first 10 codes. Now pause this video as you see fit to be able to follow those lines of code. And this is the next nine codes. Now all these first 19 codes give you complete the lore book for uh, Saint 14. But the 20th code gives you a secret emblem. And you do the exact same thing. You follow each each code in each room. So as I've said before, there you go there. It's on the screen. So your first room, you do diamond. And then the second room, you go through the door with a clover and so on and so forth. Once you've completed a successful line of code, run towards the tomb. It will teleport you back here, like I said at the start. And then you'll be prompted to reset your progress, as you can see on the screen. If you, for some reason, put in a wrong code, or you miss one of the rooms of a code, or you lose your place, kill yourself in that area, you'll be teleported right back to the start, and you can reset your progress like that. As, as you finish this, and once you've put all 19 lines of code in, and got the emblem, you'll, re you'll see that the quest isn't finished. And that's where the great guys at Raid Secrets are currently working on. Is there any more to get from here? I believe there might be. But it seems very likely that this is the first step of the Bastion quest. Now, it has been data mined. I'm not a big fan of data mining, but it has been data mined and it looks very similar with very similar wording. So it seems like the next step of the quest is we have to get some sort of exotic uh, weapon core and hand it to Saint-14. But again, that's, uh, that's all conjecture. That's just what we've been told so far. Or what what people have hypothesised through uh, through information that has been made available by data mining. What really interests me is the tomb. Whose tomb is it? Now I, I'm I'm inclined to believe that the tomb is actually our guardians. Why? Because I I can't think of another guardian that's uh, synonymous with swords. Now on the tomb there is a sword and there's a ghost. On the other side of the tomb there's a placard which bears and I'm pretty sure it's the Vanguard insignia. So it's a guardian that, that is synonymous with the Vanguard and uses swords. Now, whether this is a timeline that we can change or a timeline we can't change is 
that's up for argument. But it seems to me as if that's our guardian. And that's why we can't actually go to the tomb. But uh, there you go. All you've got to do is follow each line of code. Every time you get to a room, go through the doorway, which is the you know of the which has the emblem of the next part of the code, and just keep doing that. And once you've successfully done it, you'll you'll be able to get your next piece of lore or your emblem. And as more becomes available, you can be sure I will keep you guys updated on it. I'd like to say a massive shout out to Raid Secrets for working their butts off to try and get this done. I want to say thanks to some members of my community, my stream community that helped me with the kind of working this out. So I'd like to say thanks to Ewan uh, Tech, who really kept me on, on the straight and narrow. Uh, so thank you very much for your help and thank you for watching the video. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope it's been helpful in helping you get the lore book finished and get the emblem. And I hope you've just enjoyed watching it. If you're new to the channel, leave a like, leave a comment telling me what you thought about it. And if you haven't already, a subscription would be awesome. But most important thing is that you guys are here. Thank you very much and I will see you guys in the next video.